career thing. What do you what do you want to be when you grow up? And I would say, I want to be a writer. <laughs> Whatever that actually means. Um, I think when I was 11, my plan was to do like knockoffs of the Redwall books. Uh, if anybody out there is on the Redwall books, I was definitely going to do books about talking mice. Uh, and it was, but it was going to be different. I, I swear it was going to be. I think they were in planes. I had. Uh, it was pretty good. Um, I was watching a lot of Tailspin at the time too. <laughs> when, by the time I got to college, I thought I was going to be doing. I thought I was going to be the next, like, Philip K. Dick was the plan. Uh, I was going to do philosophical, satirical science fiction. It's actually why I started studying philosophy in the first place, uh, was to do fiction stuff. But I never wound up making the leap from studying history and studying philosophy to then converting it into fiction. And instead, my life took this very weird turn in 2007. And one day I started publishing episodes of the History of Rome, which is just going to be this narrative history of the Roman Empire, and I'll just do that and it'll be fine. Uh, that took me the next five years of my life uh, to work through the History of Rome. And then I said, well, this is, this is pretty good. I like this a lot. Um, and we started doing revolutions. So over the course of the last 10 years, right, I, like an average episode of revolutions or the History of Rome is like 5,000 words, and that's what I have to knock out every week. Uh, so I've probably written somewhere up over a million and a half words between revolutions and the history of Rome. And in all that time, none of it actually became a book. Um, so now here we are, and I have, like this is...